Hello, my name is Aidan Bushell uh, and I run the Industrial Explosion Hazards Laboratory. Um, in this lab we deal with mainly dust and powders um, and what we do is a lot of small scale flammability, ignition sensitivity and explosivity testing. So we're going to show you some of the tests that we do. Before we begin testing, we first have to analyse the particle size distribution of a material. We do this via laser refraction, measuring initially samples in the as-received state to assess whether milling or sieving is required, then again in a ground state if necessary. Another parameter we assess before we begin testing is the moisture content of the material. We can do so either using one of our balances that measures moisture by the way of weight loss, or the Carl Fisher titration method to measure specific water content. This is a combustibility dust determination test, previously known as a group AB classification. This test is performed to see whether a sample is capable of forming a flammable atmosphere when dispersed in air. If found to be positive, further sensitivity testing would be advised. This is a demonstration of 0.3 grams of aluminium powder. Our minimum ignition temperature test allows us to assess sensitivity to ignition against hot surfaces while it's in the form of a dust cloud. It is one of two tests performed where we can determine a safe operating temperature if you are looking to get suitably rated electrical equipment for zoned areas. This is a demonstration of an ignition on a minimum temperature ignition. Our layer ignition temperature test is the second test used in determining what rating electrical equipment should have within zoned areas. In this test, we assess the thermal stability of the material in the form of a layer. The lowest value of the two tests after applying a factor of safety is the final safe operating temperature. Here is a demonstration of a sample which ignites on the layer ignition temperature test. Our minimum ignition energy tests allow us to assess how sensitive to ignition materials are against electrostatic discharges, whilst in the form of a dust cloud. We can also replicate mechanical sparks by adding an inductor, which belongs to the duration of the spark. For our explosion severity test, we can determine the maximum pressure output and rate of pressure rise within our 20 year sphere. From the rate of pressure rise, we can calculate the KST value of the material which gives you your ST class. These are 1, which is low, 2, which is medium, and 3, which is high explosion potential. Within this equipment, we can also determine the LEL value of a dust using our minimum explosion concentration test. We can also manipulate the presence of oxygen and assess for the lowest concentration where ignition can occur. This is done using our limiting oxygen concentration test and is useful if you are looking to blanket the atmosphere using an inert gas as a basis of safety. 